Good morning, handsome. I'm Oliver Ray. You're here in the Alarana State Kitchen, and today's morning quickie is brought to you by the Vancouver Museum of Anthropology. Much like this red pepper you see, it's been glossed over to preserve its integrity. <laughs> Much like Canada has glossed over the genocide to preserve its integrity. So fuck the Museum of Anthropology. Let's get down to cutting a Canadian apple. Anyways, enough about denying genocide. Let me show you what I do. You simply remove the top. What do you do with this? You can eat it, throw it away, doesn't fucking matter. Take the bottom part. What do you do with that? Eat it, or throw it away. The reason we call it a Canadian apple is because when you're in the States and you're on tour, you're eating a lot of garbage, a lot of fast food. So when you get a chance to go to a Walmart or like a grocery store, I started buying these red peppers. They're full of vitamin C and apparently that helps your dick not fall off. And that's capsicum. So I wanted a bunch of capsicum in my mouth. So I started eating these just like apples. Is it called capsicum? Capsicum, yeah. Yeah, only the red ones. The green ones don't have capsicum. Green peppers can fuck off like the Museum of Anthropology. <laughs> Wait till they're ripe. A red pepper is just a green pepper that's ripened and it's got lots of capsicum to get into your mouth. So when we're on tour, I'm eating these like apples and the Americans are like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, what do you mean? It's a Canadian apple. And because Americans don't know anything about Canada, they think we live in fucking igloos and just fucking watch Trailer Park Boys. You can tell them any bullshit about Canada and they'll believe you. So I was like, yeah, in Canada, up north in that small little town that you know, we call it a Canadian apple. You, you see what I did there? I just laid it all out. Then you can stack them up like this. You gotta make a whole bunch of them at once. Then you can do this kind of thing. You can even cut them in half. Look, I got a big stack of Canadian apple right here. And you simply slice your fingers off. See what I'm saying? Now what you may have noticed is, I left the stickers on. Let's see if we can find any cut in half. Oh, you'll find this in restaurant food all the time, these little stickers. And you know, I looked it up and apparently they're food grade. You're allowed to eat those stickers. So anyways, that's how you slice a Canadian apple. And next time you're at the Museum of Anthropology, mention the genocide. Can you hear that buzz? That's not a walk-in fridge. That's the big buzz we got going for our new channel, Good Morning Handsome. Subscribe to that shit or I'll come to your house and murder your whole family. <laughs>